Welcome back to another episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend. Today we're going to be hunting for some Churak Red Deer, but before we get into that, please take a moment to press that subscribe button, and I want to thank you so much for your support. So we're hunting today in Quattro Kalinas, and the reason for that is because I find Quattro to be the best place, in my opinion, to hunt Red Deer, and that's just simply because there just seems to be so many of them, and it's a nice wide open place to hunt, so they're easy to spot. Now I tend to hunt red deer in their drink zone, which is 5 to 9 or 9.30 a.m. or p.m. And we've just taken a shot on a really gorgeous level 7 red deer. And it's a gold. Has a trophy rating of 192.6 and it has a pretty funky rack. Look at that. That's a neat one. Looks like it has half a rack from one deer and half from the other. And that's the nice thing about having true rack. So what I've done here is I've marked all the different spots with a star that I've seen diamond red deer be shot in Quattro. My personal theory for finding diamonds is this, if I have seen a diamond be shot in a certain spot, that spot goes onto my mental list to be checked on different multiplayer servers. And that has worked for me over time. Now, you can find red deer just about at every lake in Quattro, so you don't wanna just hit these spots, but it is a good guide for starting. Now you can shoot red deer with a 30 odd six or the seven mil and lots of different weapons. And I do have a weapons guide uploaded to my Discord and the link is in the description below. So please join my Discord when you have a sec. And now here I am sneaking into a lake in Quattro. I am at a lower level since I reset my account about a week ago. So I'm being very careful coming in not to spook anything, which you should do at every level. I do tend to run from lake to lake and then slow down about 200 meters out and creep for the last 100 meters and that seems to work for me. Now every time I see a level 7 red deer, especially from afar, at first when I see them my heart skips a little beat. I think it's a legendary at first because they did such a great job with the true racks. To me a level 7 looks like the old legendary and the 8s and the 9s are even bigger. I'm really looking forward to when Mule Deer True Rack come out, and that is going to be very soon. Unfortunately, it won't be released with the new map that's coming out very soon. It be right afterwards, we're told. And off he goes. And uh, that was a good shot. When you get a vital, you should see the health of your animal start to drop within a few seconds. If it does not, you probably did not catch a vital and you want to try and shoot that animal a second time. But you only get two shots for each animal without losing a metal rating. And here I am checking for more red deer before I pick up my guy. Just got a level five there. And we have a beautiful gold. He has more of a symmetrical rack. Quite a nice one. And he has a trophy of 191.8. So what I'm doing here is I have been singing the glories of the top right lake for a while now. And so I thought I'd take you on uh, a little search up here. Now this is the very top of the lake. And there are usually piles and piles of red deer here. You're also going to find a lot of roe deer and more than likely some wolves. There tends to be a lot of wolves all over the place in Quattro, but specifically on this lake. And wolves can be a big pain in the neck because they spook off all of the animals you're trying to hunt. So found a level five here. I am shooting everything that I can. Not sure what I got there, but he just dropped. Probably a heart shot, perhaps. Now I'm gonna mark right in the middle of my purple so that I can find what I've shot fairly easily. And as I go, I continue spotting everything that I can. Now it's nice and wide open so you can see things way into the distance, but keep in mind when you are spotting, you have a rendering distance of about 420 meters, which is 460 yards. So if you have a, an animal at 450 meters or 500 or so yards, you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be out of render. So keep that in mind when you're spotting. 
but your binocular is your absolute most important tool. You want to be spotting absolutely everywhere all of the time. And I always spot absolutely everything before I take a shot. Because you do not want to spook out that legendary red deer or whatever trophy it is that you're looking for. Now, as I mentioned, there are a lot of wolves here. That guy seems like he might be glitched. <laughs> and when the wolves come upon you, you want to have your health right next to you because they do often take bites out of you and they can kill you very easily. I am going to shoot them with the 30 odd six. I do find the rhino is a great weapon for hunting wolves with, and that is because when you shoot them, they just drop. They don't get back up. With the 30 odd six, they go down, they get back up, they bite you, and then they. <laughs> so, but it does the job. I don't have the in my account. That's something I'm gonna have to work my way up to again. So I'm using the 30 odd. And wolves are a great animal to hunt when you're leveling up because they are so rich for cash. This guy just paid me $1,527. And the nice thing about them too is when you shoot one, the rest of the pack usually does not take off. They usually just walk around in circles or sometimes they become aggressive and come to get you which is great, whereas when you shoot a deer, the rest of the herd takes off. And here we have a beautiful winter. Very, very pretty. Now I do have one in the lodge, so I'm not gonna taxi it, but that is a really nice rare. And that level five red deer that I shot, just a uh, silver. So here I am sneaking around the corner. I have spotted a herd of mouflon. And before I take a shot on anything, I like to try and spot absolutely everything in the area, just so I don't spook out something that might be important. And whenever I spot something, I also mark it with a waypoint, so I know how far away it is, and when I need to start creeping and being more careful with my noise. It is sometimes hard to spot things on this lake as you're going around because the land is not flat, it has a lot of rolling hills and that makes it difficult to spot stuff so sometimes coming around here can be slow <laughs> and difficult to not spot stuff Ooh, look what we found a nine legendary didn't expect to see him i was coming around to see these move one uh oh looks like our wind is bad and he has spooked oh looks like he's stuck in the tree i'm gonna pull out my 30 odd and nope Gotta get the scope on. Hey, it's my lucky day. See if I can take him down. Hopefully that's good. Can't spot him. So let's see. Didn't expect to see him there. Uh oh, no pressure. That's not good. Oh, oh, it looks like we got a vital. We got lucky there. <laughs> he got stuck. Now, if he took off, I would have had to track him down, and that could take a long time. He has a bit of a funky rack, so... Hmm. Not sure about this one. Ah, uh, and he's a troll. Too small. 229.49 kilograms, and he has a trophy at 240.3, and uh, Red Deer Go Diamond at 251. another level seven in the distance this is i believe the bottom right lake in quattro which is a great spot because they just look so amazing in the distance they look so huge to me now you want to <laughs> right along is best always make sure your metering is set properly if you have the metering perker skill and i like to try and spot them as they run off because when they get out of render, you can mark your waypoint and it just helps you find them a lot more easily. And we did get a vital here. See, I'm going to mark there and it should be right around there. Because he was just about to die when he went out of render. And 
And we have a gold, another beautiful symmetrical red deer, 213.4 kgs with a trophy of 197.8, and we managed a single lung. So this is at the bottom right hand lake in Quattro. Oh, we found a legendary. This is a very good lake to hit on every server. I have found a lot of good trophy animals on this lake. And look at the size of the rack on that. Definitely a lot bigger than a level seven. Now I have my metering set for 300. I marked him with the waypoint so I knew how to set my metering and followed him until he dropped. We got a vital for sure. So let's head on over there and hopefully we have a diamond. Now you can actually take your trophy range when you spot an animal for any true rack, add them together and divide by two, and you can actually figure out the trophy before you shoot the animal. And this is absolutely a diamond. <laughs> as soon as I spot them, I get my calculator out or I figure it out in my head. So we have a beautiful 237.08 kg diamond. He has a trophy of 265.6. And we managed a double lung from over 300 meters. And that just about wraps up our video today. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And thanks so much for joining me.